Right, so you can't tell me anything, no. Brilliant, Will, thanks for all your help. Why can't they say? They won't give out information over the phone. I suppose no news is good news. No, I'm getting worried now. It's gonna be all right, isn't it? Of course he will. It's mitigating circumstances. This is just a formality. Once they know what happened, they'll let him go. Won't they, Aaron? Yeah, yeah, of course they will. What if they don't believe him? He doesn't even know about Natalie yet. He could care about her with all this going on. But this can't be right. Well, they haven't charged you with anything yet, so you just need to sit tight. Sit tight? I could be going down for life here and all you're telling me to say is no comment. Are you insane? Robert. I swear to keep you waiting. You OK? Yeah, I'm having a great time. We should do this more often. Interview commences 13.05. I must remind you that you remain under caution. Look, my client has already given you everything you need to know. Now, I don't see the point in us going over all ground. Well, we just want to ask you a few more questions about Lee Parsner. Well, I've already told you what happened. Yeah, but I'm afraid yours and Lee's accounts don't quite match up. So why don't we go over it again? You can go over it as much as you like. It doesn't change what he did to my sister. Victoria's allegations were investigated by the CPS who concluded that there was no case to answer. Well, that doesn't mean it didn't happen. OK. Let's talk about you stalking Mr Parsner. I didn't stalk anyone. Well, that is not what he alleges. You don't have to see anything. He's lying. I haven't been anywhere near him. So you and your husband, Aaron Dingle, have you been looking to buy a car recently? Let's go over it again. On the 14th of June, you and Aaron went to Lee Posner's place of work to test drive a car. Oh, so there's a law against buying cars now? You don't have to respond to any of their questions. Did you then pull over and verbally abuse Mr Posner and have to be physically restrained from attacking him? No. Do you recognise this? For the purposes of the tape, I'm showing Mr Sugden a poster, several of which were found on the windscreens of cars for sale at the motor sale showroom. Was this you or Victoria? We can easily get her back in. He made my sister's life hell. He'd been hounding her for weeks, following her around, showing up at her house. Can I remind you that you're still under caution? Yeah, and can I remind you the bloke's an absolute scumbag? Robert, you're not doing yourself any favours. Did you, on the 16th of July, arrange for a woman to make a play for Mr Posner with the express intention of setting him up? No. I've got a video here taken on Mr Posner's phone on Tuesday, the 16th of July. Now, this is Robert Sugden. He's just accosting me on the way to the pub to see my mates. He's threatening me and I'm worried he's going to hurt me. I saw him with a young girl down by the canal. You saw him or you followed him? He was threatening her like he threatened my sister. She was terrified. Is that why you took the law into your own hands and attacked no, him? No, that's not how it happened. DC Terry, my client has answered all of your questions. So either charge him or release him. This is a joke, Robert. All of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. You need to calm down. They knew exactly what they were doing when they dragged me in there. This whole thing's a stitch-up. We are where we are. And there's nothing you can do about that now. So let's just concentrate on what happens next. GBH with intent. I know it's not the result we are after. What am I supposed to say to Aaron? I'm supposed to be starting a family. How do I tell them I'm facing life in prison? 